Hi right guys, um, this is a quick video to tie in. One of the first things that I still kind of think was overlooked, um, great, great tool, really, really useful. So let's crack on. Um, what we know is when the code runs, excuse me, when the code runs, it operates. Now, I've just been adding this, so let me just delete that. It operates and gives us this. It's the overall block shape, size, and shaft of our stepper motor. Now, um, as I was saying last week, if I spin it round, the base here is completely clear. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to actually apply some pilot holes to give me a position of where the rear mount plate sits and then I can modify later. This just gives me an overall block size for me to incorporate into designs, things like that, to give me an idea. I would at some point like to introduce a keyway as well up here because that is going to be, that's going to offer so much more as far as interfacing. And also do this trim away just to give me an idea roughly as to how big this internal section is where the coils sit. So without further ado, let's just, I'm just going to cancel that out and I'm going to run the code as normal. Now if I run it, I'm going to run it through. Now one thing that I've added that's extra to this, now I'm not really going to show you because um, we can do this ourselves. Now if, I'll, I'll bring this round. So take a look at that. Now all I've done is added pilots to, to the lower here. All I want to do now is um, I, I want to show you something which I think was really overlooked. So if we come here, come there, you'll notice that we're actually doing something that um, is quite repetitive. If I scroll down, what I've done for the pilots is I've selected the top plane and then I've run the exact same code again to execute that. So, if that's the case, what we're going to do is we've got opportunity here to transform this into a subroutine, minimizing that need for the level of it to be uh, calculated out. Or well, because we're running the same thing, we can reinitialize in each time. So, what I'm going to do is say sub. I'll call it P holes just for pilot holes. I've tapped sub, put it into arguments. Uh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what a silly sauce. Right, so if I go P holes. Apologies, yeah, I put it into arguments. That's suggesting that I'm passing the variable across called that to something that doesn't exist. So that's just me being a silly sod. Right, so we know that this is repeated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy. I'm going to run into here and paste. Now what I can do is if I jump back up. Now I'm always really nervous with... Um, with deleting until I know something runs. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all that and I'm going to comment it all out. This by the way is the uh, design block. It's a part, of, part of a user standards for edits and it's, uh, it's a good little bit. You know it's really useful so if you've not done already switch it on. Um, I, I always promote that little bit of navigating round just to be sure exactly what you're looking at. So what I'm going to do is say there's a few ways I could do this. I could say call p holes. And what I'll do is go up here and do the exact same thing. I'm going to comment that out. I'm going to bring that in and go call p holes. Now I'm just I'm I'm doing it lowercase because I'm just there we go yeah I was just double checking that it would correct to uppercase and lowercase okay so let's run it through again and see if this works if this works we should get pilot holes up and below 
again I didn't do the lower one because it is essentially me building the exact same thing and I figured it's a good exercise for you so run that in goes normal okay so let's jump back let's just take a look so see there it's run through and everything is good so everything's running fine there so what I'm gonna do because I can do this now is I'm gonna select all of that delete it out and I'm gonna select all of that and delete it out now what we've got now is one single subroutine that controls the pilot holes for upper and lower um, I mean arguably what we could do is transform these into subroutines for plane selection processes um, it just depends exactly what you want to do but um, we could change that entirely because you'll notice they're all defined as low as here and all we'd have to do is call them and just say that is what we're going to use so let's have a look yeah okay so that now does operate with uh, the p-holes um, subroutine so I'm gonna hit save great little exercise great little process but what I'd like to do is just run through a step process so let me just find my next point if I break it here and then I hit run all it's gonna do is uh, let me stop that get rid of that stop that and then I'm just gonna just reset in the main screen and then we'll run it again so stop and run ah right now what it's trying to do is it thinks I'm trying to run beneath so I'm gonna go above here click into the sub main area and then run now it runs from the main point and I can execute and it should break to that position once it runs to it so it should stop right so uh, as ever it'll clear all selections runs into the p-holes establishes the drawings comes back runs out and now we have one contained piece that will control the pilot holes uh, the beauty is by doing this is if we repeat the same process this is a huge pain in the backside we put this together so this is a huge pain in the backside being in a position of being able to um, change this as one particular point is very very efficient and um, it is something that's very very you know uh, happily received when it happens so please keep that in mind because that is something that um, I will assess on on the assignment just looking at did you consider these things uh, or have you just totally neglected it and gone whatever I'll just do whatever so it's just them particular things to keep in mind um, what we're going to do on the next video is we're probably going to introduce a case statement to drop some of these standards if a particular uh, stepper motor is going to get to a certain size we're going to set the shaft we're going to set the mounting plates to be a particular size because they are standards by the way right so I wanted to keep this short, I wanted to keep it a little bit interesting and I hope you found it a real benefit and I'll see you all soon.